I'm trying to replicate what Dr. Johnson did. So that's our slurry there. We're gonna use about half a quart, which is about enough for 25 pounds. That, what I found was if I took the half quart that I used for the half bag, and I put it in here, and then just mix it up by hand, I'm not getting those balls that uh, we found earlier in uh, while we were mixing. So I'm just mixing this up by hand, and then throwing that into the cement mixer with the rest of the grain, and that seems to eliminate any, uh, any bunching or, or making of those little Fukuoka balls that we saw earlier. So we're putting 25 pounds into the cement mixer. For the most part, the grain looks pretty well coated. Uh, it's not super wet. So we're hoping this goes through the grain drill. As we'll use a rake and just spread this out a bit. So this is the seed that was just treated with the Johnson Sioux. You can, you can feel it's kind of damp and you can see how it sticks to your hand. And this is something that's just been sitting out for the, since we started and we're mixing it as we go. But you can see it doesn't stick to your hand. And what, the last 20 minutes or so? And I think we shouldn't have any problem with this going through the grain drill. And this might not be at all, but it just, I think just having it out where it just kind of surface dries, it'll have a whole lot better chance of planting without any problems. All right, historic moment. First Johnson Sioux covered cover crop that we know of, right? In in yeah. the state of South Carolina. It's got to be. Call us crazy if you like. <laughs> still see those seeds being meted out so there's no clogging uh, that's certainly good news <laughs> 